Prime Minister, we're delaying four weeks, aren't we? Well, we're going to be setting out the position on Monday, but what I can certainly tell you is that uh, to deliver a, uh, an irreversible roadmap, which is what we want, uh, you've, got to be, you've got to be cautious, and we're still looking at the, at the data. What we're seeing is um, unquestionably signs that uh, not just cases, but also hospitalizations are going up. Um, there will be arguments about uh, the extent to which uh, they're going up, the extent to which they're feeding into to, to f fatalities. Uh, but uh, but it's about order, the NHS coping, though, isn't it? To, in order to deliver a uh, irreversible roadmap, you've got to be cautious. And just to be clear, is hospitalizations for you the key bit of data? I, I think we've just got to do whatever it takes to uh, protect life in this country. That's what we're going to do. So hospitalizations for you is, is the most important piece of data? We're looking at all the, the data, but what we want to, to do is to avoid uh, a, another wave of, of deaths that uh, you know, could be prevented by allowing the, the vaccines to, uh, to work in the way that they are. The vaccine program has been absolutely astonishing, and there's no question, if you look at the, uh, the, the people who are going into hospital now, they, they tend to be uh, from different groups than uh, younger groups from, uh, than we saw in the first couple of waves of, of the pandemic. We're seeing different outcomes, uh, but um, it, may be, it may be that we need, you know, in the race between the vaccines and the, the virus, we need to make sure that we give uh, the vaccines extra legs. And because part of the problem is this Delta variant we got from India, do you regret not putting India on the red list a bit earlier? We put India on the red list on April the 23rd, which was long but a before... But a lot of the variant was, came in, so, so long, surely you must have a bit of a regret which, about doing yeah, it as we, late as we that. We put India on the, on, the, on the red list so that, you know, you have to uh, spend 10 days in quarantine uh, in a hotel uh, if you come from India. Uh, we put India on the red list on April the 23rd, which was before the variant was even identified as a variant under so investigation, no let alone no a, a variant of concern. Obviously, we will we'll look back at all the decisions that we, uh, that we made, but that was done on the best scientific advice at the time. And the, the situation in, in Pakistan and other countries was, was very different. As it happens, what you're looking at with the Indian variant is uh, it's, it's one that I'm afraid is now uh, very widely seeded around the world, but it is, uh, it is susceptible to the vaccines, and particularly it's susceptible to two doses. Sure. So the great thing, Robert, is for everybody to come forward and get their second dose, because that's what we need. Now, lots of people deferred their weddings until after June the 21st. Can you give them any hope that even with a delay, they can go ahead and have I'm parties. going to be setting out, uh, you'll be having uh, a lot of chapter and verse about exactly what we're going to do uh, right. on Monday, and I don't want to anticipate that. Um, now, um, what, in your view, would be a compromise on sausages going from Great Britain to Northern Ireland? Well, I think that uh, there's got to be, uh, it's not, look, it's not, it's not, this is not a trivial thing. Uh, it's not just a question of, uh, of chilled meats. Uh, there are all sorts of uh, products that uh, are currently uh, facing difficulties, and we've got to get it sorted out. But um, I've no doubt that our friends in the EU understand that. They've, they've heard the message uh, loud and clear. You, you told and, them today that the Northern Ireland Protocol is a framework. They think it's a legal text. That doesn't look like they, there's scope for compromise. Uh, they've heard the message loud and clear, and the UK will do uh, whatever is necessary to protect uh, our, 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 our so, United so Kingdom internal market. Involving and the, unilaterally and the, in, ripping up the protocol? Is will, that a possibility? We will do whatever is necessary to protect the United Kingdom uh, internal market. Uh, free movement of goods, people, services, capital between all parts of the, the United Kingdom and to protect the territorial integrity of the UK. And I think our friends and partners understand that very well. Now, lots of people sent you congratulations on your wedding, got married in Westminster Cathedral. Are you now a practicing Roman Catholic? I don't discuss these deep issues, uh, certainly not with, uh, not with you. Why not? <laughs> Keir Starmer said he doesn't believe in God. Do you believe in God? The, the foolish man has said in his heart there is no God. Prime Minister, I'll, good I'll to see leave you. I'll leave it at that. Good to see you. Okay.